work that has improved our knowledge, contributed to policy and practice. And the MRC has also played a very significant contribution in the capacity building, both human and infrastructure. Since the unit transferred to the London School on the 1st of February 2018, this has facilitated even stronger scientific collaboration with the school, as well as providing career opportunities for researchers. And this has boosted our research capacity. The unit conducts many clinical studies. Also when I was at medical school, we thought problems, things like TB and things, would have gone away by now. And of course, as we see in Uganda, as in other countries, non-communicable diseases like diabetes and cardiovascular diseases and cancer are increasing. What might be called the old problems, the traditional health problems, are just continuing. And we're, and we're seeing countries facing double burdens and, and... I believe that the establishment and launch of such a facility as we're seeing today is a really important milestone in the questions, in the quest for answers to questions surrounding the improvement of health for people here in Uganda. And I mentioned we've been here a long time. Um, and certainly I'm going to take you back, just as um, a professor from um, London School uh, did too, back to 1988. And at the invitation of the Ugandan government, we funded a very important program, one of the first steps really in, in this modern partnership we're seeking to build, dedicated to the research on that new pandemic, which had had such a deadly toll on the African continent, and that's the HIV epidemic, working very closely with colleagues in the Ministry of Health and here at UVRI. Um, the medical research...